Well guys, this is crosswind. I already moved the wing a couple times and I don't want to move it again. The wind keeps shifting. So my intentions are is to wait here for a minute and see if it gets a little bit favorable. Right now it's getting more and more unfavorable. But I'm just gonna get ready and stand here for a minute cause it keeps changing. And I got this uh, new mount on my knee, just above my knee. It's 100% a tailwind. I thought I was going to be flying uh, a long ways tonight, so I got 16 liters of fuel. This is working against me. The wind is light. Uh, but I'm going to try and be patient here just for a minute. See if that wind will lay down or turn directions. Lord will, and it will be a safe takeoff or a safe fail is even good. We're about 900 feet above sea level here. And this is uh, February 21st, I believe. And uh, I'm not sure if my GoPro on my helmet is gonna pick up this uh, mount on my knee. Uh, hopefully it gets it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out my iPad. Let me park my brakes. All righty, it's so far been really smooth. I'm gonna fly over here towards Atlanta Motor Speedway and Speedway Hampton Airport, Henry County Airport. Uh, it's only about an eight mile trip. And uh, see if I can get my uh, iPad going here. Alrighty. I'm hoping that's getting it.
shelf of 6,000 to 12,500 is the airspace here. I think this uh, this iPad mini will come in handy if you're flying where you're not super familiar and or if you're flying any kind of like cross country. It was simple getting it, you know, on my leg and everything. It worked fine on takeoff. Realistically, I need to shorten up that strap just a little tiny bit. It was creeping down towards my knee. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop down low to creep across way out here from the runway. Uh, either that or I would have to go high and, um, and then cross in the middle of the runway. You have been flying for 10 minutes. Your current altitude is near 1,500 feet, about 700 feet above ground. The wind is coming from the west. You're 6 o'clock at 7 miles per hour. Takeoff is about 13 minutes away towards your 6 o'clock. It's incredible to me what uh, like Ryan Carlton and Wendy were both calling for one or two mile an hour winds. It's definitely more than that. And Gaggles just said it was seven out of the west and it was supposed to be one or two out of the north. But such is life. This is actually my, I think this is my 207th flight about 170 hours and uh, this is the third time in my life that I have flown by myself which is funny to me because I know a lot of guys fly majorly the majority of time uh, a lot of guys fly by themselves But I usually fly with buddies. Uh, Pablo is Pablo's down there with uh, Brian Waller, rebuilding his motor. So that's a great thing. I had originally planned on going on a long flight, but then I decided since I'm by myself, it'd be better just to uh, take a shorter, more familiar flight. I'd like to fly from uh, where I took off today uh, down to GA2 Airport, which is uh, Peach State Aerodome. And that's about a 35 mile flight. But I'll do that another day. Well, I have an anti-glare screen on this iPad Mini and I can see it really good right now, so that's good. Last time I was here, there was no asphalt and no building. They were uh, putting in all the footers for the building to sit on. Looks like it's uh, maybe a Target distribution center. If you're in a pinch, that roof would work. Wow, that is a big facility. I don't think I 
I gotta worry about those two. Those motorhomes that are in that center lot are for drivers and owners. So I'm sure all those came straight from Daytona. That is a couple of beautiful haulers right there. Beautiful thing. Get out of the gas and make it go away even quicker. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Get that iPad put away, which, let's see, that turned out to be no problem. Get ready to land. Get down here and see what this wind is doing on my streamer. 
I park under a light, but the lights aren't on yet. And for me, I cannot see it. It looks like it's straight down. Oh yeah, it's 100% dead. Alrighty, what's up? Well, thank the Lord, that was a nice flight, nice safe landing, and uh, everything went good. It wasn't bad flying by myself, uh, still prefer to do it with my friends. That's a wrap.